salmon has always been part of our culture since time immemorial. For us as our community, it is the lifeline. It keeps our community going. It means I get to spend time with my family while I'm harvesting and smoking the winter's food supply. Um, it just means happy. Yakut has what we call a subsistence community, which means the majority of us don't want to be in traffic jams and uh, go to Walmart. We want to live a subsistence lifestyle, which means we put up the majority of our own food. Without salmon, uh, which is probably 30 to 40 percent of the staple of a subsistence lifestyle, uh, it would be very difficult to continue to exist here. Salmon is probably the most shared resource in our community. It's been a, 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 major, a major food resource, you know, since time began, since the salmon started coming into the, into the rivers for the native people. And it's just really a number one cultural resource around here, I would, I would say. The state of Alaska manages all the fisheries, so there's an escapement level that must be reached before anybody goes fishing, including subsistence. If there's a point where the, re the return is not going to be sufficient to bring enough yield uh, in the future, nobody gets to go fishing. It's a set net. Um, you have an anchor on the shore. Most of the time it's right up near nets on the beach and it runs out 120 feet. Yeah, and we, uh, we catch the fish in, in that, and then we have tubs here with ice in them. And we put water in there so it's real fleshy. It brings the temperature way down on the fish, which in result, when you pull a fish into the boat, you pop a gill to bleed the fish, and then you put them in the slush ice, and they just firm up really nice, real high quality fish. It helps it survive longer down the line in the fresh, fresh fish industry, you know. By the time it gets consumed, it just increases that shelf life to a higher quality of fish. Because it's a set net fish where both sides of the net have to be anchored so it doesn't drift. So you can't be out in the middle of the estuary so there's a, tr a tremendous amount of area for the salmon to be able to pass through. What are the main differences between in-river in fishery and, dri and drift fishing? is that um, you're not catching other species. It's also, it's a, it's a real clean fishery in that way. It's like we have very little bycatch. All in all, you know, it's, it's a really been a dependable, renewable resource for our community. Um, sometimes we, fishing's like a roller coaster ride, you know, you rarely have a, a straight line on it, but here it's, it's been good 